Hi everyone. Today video is on hot chocolate GraphQL pagination using use offset paging middleware. Okay. So for this demo, I have a table like to do and I have some test data. So what I did to make our video short, I have already created the DB context. Okay. Now just we are going to integrate the GraphQL endpoint and on the resolver method we are going to decorate the use page offset middleware to enable the pagination okay so to integrate the hot chocolate graphql we have to install the package like hot chocolate dot asp dot net code so copy the command install the package okay after installing the package, we have to create the entity of our query type. Okay. So let me create a folder like require any folder name. Inside of it, let me add my query class. Okay. This is my query class. In this query class, I am going to create a resolver method to fetch the collection of data. So on that resolver method, we are going to use the use offset paging middleware so that pagination will be enabled. Okay, let me create the method like and I want to return the response as I queryable because the pagination values will be directly applied to the I queryable variable or I queryable return type so that those parameters will dynamically generate the raw SQL query so it will be the performance booster so return and my method name is get to do's so here i have to inject the my database context for that i have to use service and then need to define my db context Okay, now I can simply return the I queryable return type of to do's. So I will sort the items by its ID and I want to return as queryable. Okay, so this resolver method should be decorated with the use offset paging. So what will happen means in the request we are going to pass take and skip two parameters. Those two parameters will be implicitly read by the use page offset middleware and this middleware will create a raw SQL okay based on this queryable return type. So it will apply those skip and take and generate a raw SQL means will generate a SQL query with pagination enabled. So we are going to get the data directly from the uh, database. Okay. If you don't give I queryable, okay, if you do to, to list, so what will happen? All the data will be come to the, our application. Then our filtered data will be applied once the data is available here. Okay. So to get the performance gain, use as queryable. Okay, and so that's it. Just decorating uh, use offset paging enables the paging. Now we simply register our uh, query type in the program.cs file. Okay, so in the program.cs file, first we have to build the add GraphQL server. Okay. And to that, we have to define our query type for that add query type. To that type, we have to pass our entity that is query. Okay, that's the service registration. And finally, we have to configure the GraphQL endpoint as well. Okay, so here what I will do. 
app dot map graph here okay now let's run and test our application so here is my application up and running so i should navigate to graphql okay just add graphql to the url so we are going to see a default built-in testing tool for graphql endpoint that is banana cake pop so here click on create document okay and apply okay since i want to query right i need to specify like query inside of query you will get intelligence see to do so this is nothing but the name of our resolver method name okay so by convention it will exclude the get post those keywords so it will show only to do's okay so to do's see here we have two uh, objects we have to define one is items and another thing is page info okay so item is nothing but the return type we are returning here so what i am returning to do right so here i need to specify what are the properties from the to do i want i want like id and item name i want only two properties so i am requesting server to return only these two properties in the response and along with this we have one more property like page info so here instead of page info we have two properties like has next page has previous page so these properties will give us whether we have next page and uh, previous page of our data okay so this is very helpful for showing the next and previous page button okay so i want to fetch them as well okay as previous like this we have to specify and we have to pass the take and skip parameter so take means how many total number of count that record should be written from the data and skip means after which number of records we want to skip okay so for that here we can define like you control space intelligence will show you skip okay for skip i want to initially zero okay and take i want to get five records okay so let's execute it see here i got the red response right so here you can see only id and item name was written because only those two properties i have requested okay and here we can see as previous page is false because why it is false i am skip zero means i am starting i want to fetch from the starting that is why has previous page is false so here has next page true means after five records there is some data so next page is available that is it is true okay for suppose if i skip one record starting record and if i take one see now has next page and previous page also true okay so that's a, all all the pagination required things by default taken care by this use page offset attribute and here i want to show one more thing see if you see here this is the query generated okay whenever we requested query is generated and he, if you see here offset and rows and page nations so these values are nothing but our skip and take okay since we are returning as queryable right our skip and take are directly applying here okay see here next after one record like that okay so from this we can understand use offset when the resolver method return type is as queryable so the pagination will be automatically generated as a raw sql query okay and if here we can observe we don't have total number of count in the uh, total records in the database right for that we have to add a simple configuration here that is here in the attribute here in the attribute i can specify like include total count equal to true okay now save and rerun 
See, after adding include total count, here you can see additional property other than items and page info total count. So request total count as well. Now if I run, and if I minimize items and see total 20,000 records are exist in the database. So with these values, we can easily bind our data to any kind of UI pagination. Okay. And here also you can see two queries has been executed against the database. See, one is for fetching the count and another is for retrieving the data. So everything is automatically taken care by the use offset page. Okay, so that's all about the pagination in our chocolate graph here. I hope this video has delivered some useful information to you all. If you like my video, please support me by subscribing to my channel. Soon we are going to meet with new videos. Until then, signing off.